film opens with the appearance of Manji and his sister. He had gone little insane. Manji was the responsible behind this. He executed one crooked politician on the commands of his higher authority one day. When Manji discovered that his senior had told him a false story, he was furious. That man was guiltless. Then, Manji had killed his senior with other people. But there was also Manji's brother-in-law there. And Manji had also taken his life. Manji's sister had witnessed all, after this, she had started to suffer mental disorder. After these incidents, Manji had kept his sister with him. But Manji had announced wanted after that incident. One day, Manji was along with his sister in the forest. Then he encounters a lady there. That lady was still alive for the last 800 years. When Manji was conversing with that lady, then bounty hunter large group reaches there to kill Manji. They abduct the sister of Manji. Manji says to them if you will let my sister go, then I will not harm you. Then groups had orders Manji to keep his weapons down. Manji agrees with him. When he keeps all weapons on the ground, as Manji's sister begins to move to her brother. The head of this group kills Manji. Seeing this, Manji becomes aggressive. He kills each member of this group one by one. Meanwhile, Manji's one of the eyes is badly wounded. And his face is also injured with this. And Manji's one of the hands had also cut during fight. In the end, there is only head of the group is survived before, Manji. Manji also kills the head of that group. But he had also become so wounded. Then the same lady appears there, surviving from the last 800 years. Manji says to that lady, kill me. I have also lost the last meaning of my life. But that lady implants sacred bloodworms into his body. Due to this, those bloodworms heal the body of Manji. Now Manji's disjoint hand also comes to its healed form. Not only this, but Manji had become immortal now. He could not ever die. Then movie's scene is moved further. It is seen after 52 years that a master was delivering his lecture to a class. Master's daughter named Rin was also taking training here. Then the society chief Anitsu also comes here with his men. Approaching here, he kills everyone. He comes to the master later. Anistu led a group called It Rai with his members. He wanted to spread his society members everywhere. He used to kill that person who avoided to support him. He also kills the master when he forbids to join him. He also kills his wife later. But he spares the life of master's daughter, Rin. Now, Rin becomes so aggressive after the death of her parents. Rin decides to avenge her parents. Then the same lady comes here, who had cured Manji. She says to Rin, coming here, you should appoint a bodyguard for you. Because she cannot do anything alone. Her task will be easier if she hires Manji for her. Because Manji is immortal. Now, Rin agrees with her. And she goes in search of Manji. After a great struggle, Rin searches for Manji, who used to live in a hut. When Manji glimpses Rin, then he is left very shocked because Rin was resembling with her deceased sister. Rin reveals the whole story to Manji. She also requests him that he may help her to avenge her parents. But Manji rejects to help her. He says to Rin, people will consider him a killer. Rin witnesses a man when she is returning after talking with Manji. He was the member of the Ithrai society, the assassin of samurai. And he had set Rin's mother head on his left shoulder. Rin attacks that man to kill him but that man rescues himself. Manji also comes there. A great fight is held between this man and Manji. This man leaves Manji wounded after attacking him. Afterwards, he tries to kill Rin. When this man was going to victimize Rin. Then, Manji attacks from his backside while getting up. And that man dies. Now that man was also not understanding who is Manji. Manji also tells Rin about his being mortal. Now, Manji gets ready to help Rin for vengeance. On the other side, Anitsu is seen who was making a contract with a man. He wanted to open the school of Itrai with the cooperation of that man. But he puts a condition that he will be the head of this school. Now that man asks him to consult with his council members. After this, Anitsu hears the news of that man's death. Who had been killed by Manji. Now, Anitsu sends his another man to search for Manji and Rin. Contrarily, when Rin goes to another man to make her sword, then she notices there that her father's sword was placed there. Now the same man who had been sent to search out Rin by Anitsu, he moves away, taking that sword from there. But he does not observe Rin there. Rin immediately comes to Manji and she tells that she has witnessed a man near a temple who has her father's sword. Now, Manji goes away in search of that man. But that man himself searches out Manji when there is held too much fight between them. Then, Manji is entrapped in the bog. Due to this, that man becomes heavy on that man. In the end, Manji also defeats that man, sparing his life. Now that man had also known about this, that Manji is immortal. And he gives that sword to Rin, grabbing from that man. 
This man returns to Anitsu. In addition, he uncovers Manji's eternal life. He tells he is not a human being but a monster. He tells that his implanted bloodworms heal his wounds. In the next, it is seen when Rin and Manji go to a restaurant, then an assassin comes there who had also been sent to kill Rin by Anitsu. That assassin says to Manji, we can both end Anitsu if you want. But Manji does not agree with him. Exactly after this, that assassin attacks Manji. Manji also kills that man, attacking him with his sword. When Manji begins to move away after killing him, then that man is stood alive there. And he tells that he is also immortal like Manji. And he tells that he is alive from the last two years. Then he attacks Manji with his sword also of a sudden. Manji's wounds begin to bleed now, because that man had smeared a poison on his sword. Due to that poison, bloodworms of Manji's body had got weakened. And those bloodworms were not getting capability to heal Manji's wounds. Now that man takes Rin with him and leaves. As that man was nearly to kill, Rin, Manji, comes there and the fight is again begun between them. Now, Manji, stabs all his weapons into the body of that man. In spite of this, that man does not get any harm. After this, that man again smears that poison on his sword. And he again assaults Manji. But Manji, dismembers his body, pulling his sword. But it was the trick of that man. Because he was so irritated from his life. Now he wanted to get rid from his life. On the other side, Anitsu, is seen who had been allowed to run his school. He was so excited here, because all schools had to carry out his orders. Then a man comes there, and he gives the news of that man's death to Anitsu, who was immortal. He had been killed by Manji. Now, Anitsu, sends his reliable disciple who was a girl to kill Manji and Rin. That girl attacks Manji, coming there. But Manji, had lost his strength now, because his wounds had not recovered properly. That girl injures Manji, very badly. That girl also dislocates the hand of Manji, with her sword. But she understands at that time that she had no such a reason, that she had to deal with Manji. Then, Rin, appears in front of the girl, with a sword. And she tells her, Manji, is guarding me. And I cannot let him die. After this, that girl also leaves that, it right society. Now, Rin, dresses Manji's wounds. When she goes to the forest on the coming day for practice, then she glimpses, Anitsu, there. She remains unable to control herself. Now she attacks him for taking avenge from him. But he rescues himself from Brin, with no difficulty. He tells Brin, that he had killed her father in order to take the avenge of his grandfather. He does not harm Brin, here and he leaves away. Next day, Manji, and Brin, meet with a member of a group. That group also wanted to kill, Anitsu. So, Manji, and Brin, join that group. They know this fact here that, Anistu, is going to move at a place. They plan that they will kill him, going there. Now they move on his way in order to trace him. They meet Anitsu on the way. But he was not Anitsu. They had sent a girl in place of Anitsu to entrap them, making her wear Anitsu's dress. At the same place, they are surrounded by the members of Itrai group. Now, Manji and a boy of other group fight with them collaboratively. Now the other group member tries to misbehave with that girl, who had come, disguising Anitsu. Then, Rin, stops him of doing so. And that man tries to kill Rin. Now, Manji, cuts that man's same hand, with which he was trying to harm, Rin, and that man flees. Now, Manji, brings, Rin, back to home and he dresses her wounds, and he feeds her food. He also tells, Rin, his story here, how he had lost his sister. Manji, finds a letter written by, Rin, when he was not at home, and he understands, seeing the letter that, Rin, had gone to avenge alone. She did not want that Manji's life may be at risk because of her, but Manji, goes after, Rin, in order to search her. On the other side, Anitsu, is seen who had gone to meet with the member of that council. This council member had allowed him for school but he forbids now. Now, Anitsu, understands here, that man had entrapped him. Now, Anitsu, is surrounded by many members of the council here. Then he begins to run away. Rin, also approaches here while searching for him. He tells Rin, that, it right, has been tagged illegal. You may also run away if you want to protect your life. On the other side, it is witnessed that all members of it Rai had died. Some people also come around Manjiu in the forest and they begin to beat him, entangling Chain in his hands. Manji cuts his hand before they are succeeded to kill him. But his hand is again joined after being recovered. He kills all three men there later, who wanted to make him victim. On the other side, Anitsu and Rin were also surrounded by many people. Then a man comes to kill Rin. At the same time, Manji appears there, and he kills that man. Manji conveys to all those people, I will not let anyone alive here if anyone wanted to kill Rin. All people get ready to fight in the commandment of their chief. And they assault Manji. Manji and Anitsu confront those oppositions. 
and their fight continues for a long time. During this fight, Anatsu is wounded. The same girl comes there who had been sent to kill Manji and Rin by Anatsu. Manji, on the other hand, had been gravely wounded. In the meantime, that other man comes, whose hand had been cut by Manji. He goes away, abducting Rin. Manji kills all of those people here, and that girl also dies while rescuing Anatsu here, and she sacrifices herself for Anatsu. On the opposite side, Manji goes to that man to rescue Rin. That man had set the pointed weapons at the place of his hand. He orders Manji to keep all weapons down here, but Manji does not repeat his previous mistake, and he keeps a small knife at this time, and he cuts the rope of Rin to free her getting a chance. And Rin escapes from there. Manji and that man fall down from a mountain while fighting. Manji maintains his balance while that man catches a creeper plant for support. That man had hanged at the enough bottom side. He threatens to, Manji, I will surely come back to kill you. Later this, Manji cuts that creeper plant which had been caught by that man who was without one hand. Now he falls down and loses his breath. Contrarily, Anatsu and council members were fighting. Anatsu was in a full rage because that council member had killed that girl. And he cuts that council member's body into two parts. Manji, Anatsu, and Rin had only survived here. Fight starts between Manji and Anatsu here. Their fight continues for a long time. At last Manji defeats Anatsu. But he himself does not take the life of Anatsu, but he gives this task to Rin. So, Rin, herself may take avenge of her parents. Anatsu threatens them that my offspring will take avenge from you after my death. When Rin goes to kill Anatsu, then he was going to kill Rin. Then Manji rescues her, coming there. Then, Rin kills Anatsu with her sword. However, due to the excessive bleeding, Manji loses consciousness. In this way, Manji and Rin are only survived in the war. And the movie completes on this scene.